Member. Madam Speaker, I rise to speak in support of the, mo or the amendment. Um, as many of the members here uh, will know, uh, I ran uh, against the Premier in the constituency of Vancouver Point Grey in a by-election in 2011 and then in the general election in May. Um, during the 2011 by-election, which was the only election taking place in the entire province at the time, uh, the Premier did not attend a single all-candidates debate. Um, in the subsequent uh, uh, election, similarly, the Premier failed to attend a single all-candidates debate, and I note simply as a point of uh, comparison, Madam Speaker, uh, that the member for Vancouver Kingsway attended his uh, community all-candidates debate. And I, I raise this, uh, this point um, in, in light of the amendment simply to note uh, the remarkable similarity between the Premier's conduct during the elections in which I participated in Vancouver Point Grey, where the Premier would attend her own events and speak but not attend the community debates. Uh, yesterday in this House, we saw a remarkable performance in which the Premier refused to stand up and defend her government's record in provoking a full-scale strike that hurt parents, that hurt children, um, and yet uh, was willing to go to a Liberal fundraiser to discuss that exact issue. And it's that similarity in conduct in willing to go to the friendly events to talk to the friendly people who are supporting your party and not to come to this House and answer the hard questions and not, Madam Speaker, to go to the community debates that uh, causes me to rise and support this amendment. It's the idea that the Premier should be held accountable and it's a very modest ask. It's uh, one day a week, uh, it's for a brief period of time, but to defend her government's record and it's very clear uh, what happens on uh, the other side of the House. It's that the decisions for this government, Madam Speaker, are coming out of the Premier's office and the Cabinet. And I think that it's high time that the Premier have to stand up and answer the difficult questions that she stopped using other members of this House as stunt doubles. We heard about the theatrics of question period. Well, the Premier is using stunt doubles to take the hits in question period. That she should have to stand up and answer the hard questions that she should stop avoiding the accountability in this House. And that is why I'm supporting this amendment. And that's why I think it's a wonderful idea. And I thank the member from Wanafuka for bringing it forward. Thank you.